it's Megan and today I am going to go over my full skincare routine. My morning skincare, my night skincare, my shower skincare, everything I do to take care of the face, my, the face, my face and the skin on my face. And as you guys probably know, if you watch my videos, I'm absolutely obsessed with skincare. My love of beauty started with makeup and I still absolutely love makeup, but skincare is something I really love and it actually has like longer term results. Like with makeup, you can do anything you want and then wash it off at the end of the night. With skincare, it really is just taking care of your largest organ and I don't know, I just really, really enjoy everything about skincare and I'm always about getting like a glow and having like smooth smooth even skin and today I'm coming at you completely bare faced because one I'm lazy and today when I'm filming this is St. Patty's Day and this weekend I was in Philly with some of my friends and so I like glitter all over my face <laughs> for the past two days and now I am just like okay time to like take it back down to ground zero and so I'm just chilling today but I thought it would be nice to show you guys my skin without any makeup at all. I just have like moisturizer on today. And so I'm gonna start with my uh, morning skincare routine. And most of the time I don't shower in the morning since now I try to work out after work and then I shower after I exercise. So in the morning, I'm literally just washing my face and preparing my face to apply makeup. So. I usually use one of these two cleansers and I really enjoy more of like a creamy non-foaming cleanser for the morning. So I love the Polish Choice Resist Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. I have used this for years. Love, love, love this. And it's like a cream, cream, but uh, it's not thick at all. It's so lovely and I use this also sometimes to remove makeup so I just rub this on dry skin and I don't know it just lightly cleanses my skin does not strip it at all but also doesn't leave a residue remove it with a wet washcloth because with a non-foaming cleanser sometimes you need to use like a physical like surface to remove everything from your skin with something that doesn't foam. I just noticed that foaming cleansers usually rinse off cleanly with just water, but with something like this, like a cream cleanser, I like to actually like wipe off my face with a wet washcloth. And I really like these Omrovixa um, little mitts. It's like literally a washcloth mitt and then you can just like go to town. I love that as like a little bonus if you want to try that. And then the other one I like in the morning is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And I do want to say that I have pretty normal skin. Like I get slightly oily in my T-zone and slightly dry on the rest of my face, but I do have pretty balanced skin. And I would like attribute that to skincare, but also I have mostly throughout my life not had extremely dry skin or extremely oily skin. I'm pretty much in the middle, um, but I do like to get products that are more geared toward dry skin because like I said, I'm always going for the glow and things like that. So I like this because again, it's a non-foaming cleanser and this, whoa, sometimes it squirts out like crazy. This is like a little bit of a different texture. It's a little bit thinner. Um, compared to the Polish Choice. So sometimes, I don't know, I definitely prefer the Polish Choice over this, but I am trying to use it up. And again, I just use a wet washcloth to remove that from my skin. And then my skin is nice and cleansed. It doesn't have any oils from the night before and I definitely like sweat during my sleep and I wear oils at night so I like to just get all that off. I know some people just like using a makeup like micellar water or something but I do like to use these gentler um, like creamy kind of cleansers in the um, morning. And then sometimes I will go in with my First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. These are just a tried and true. I've used these for so, so many years. And um, these, it says on the container, helps to exfoliate, tone, and brighten, safe for sensitive skin. And I would definitely say these are a great gentle exfoliator that 
is chemical um, that is safe for sensitive skin and you can use it every day if you want to. I probably use something like this every other day just depending on when I remember to do it but I do like to sometimes wipe one of these pads all over my face just to like help exfoliate a little bit. And then something I've really, really gotten into are like facial sprays. So like a hydrating mist. Um, the Amara Vixa Queen of Hungry Mist is absolutely wonderful and lovely. And so I've been using that. And recently Bliss sent me a few of the products from the Rose Gold Rescue line, including this Soothing Toner Mist for Sensitive Skin. So it is literally just like a mist. This one has a really, really nice mist. And it just helps to add a little hydration back to your skin after you cleanse. I just think, oh, and I'm, I literally can taste the rose. <laughs> so it is like a rose scented product, but I just like these types of things as an additional hydrating step. And I've been getting facials pretty much every month at Hand in Stone. And the like facialist that I go to, she always does like little spritz of like a hydrating toner on my skin between each step. And she said that that is like a really nice way to add moisture back into your skin. So these are two that I really like, but pretty much any one that I've tried is, they're like almost all the same to me. It just, I guess, depends on the scent that you like and your preference on the sprayer, honestly. Then I will go in with either sometimes a serum. I don't use like a serum every single morning, but I have been using the um, Lotus Jeju Lotus Leaf Radiance Brightening Serum. I'm almost done with this. This is a K-Beauty uh, product and I absolutely love Korean beauty products. I just think that they're super innovative, innovative. I'm a little bit tongue-tied today. Super innovative, great like science and technology behind it and very effective. And I like this because this is not a cream or a gel. It's like a light weight somewhere in the middle of a cream and a gel. It's just a really beautiful product. And I was talking to one of my coworkers about like skincare because she loves it too. And we were saying a lot of the times you don't notice the like effects of a skincare product, especially like a serum or something while you're using it but if you stop using it you will notice like oh my gosh my skin is not as bright or not as exfoliated or whatever and it goes back to you not using that product and i honestly don't know if my skin is brighter after using this because i use it pretty consistently a few times a week but i do like this so I don't know if I would necessarily repurchase it, but that is something I use on a like multi-day basis. And then just today, actually, I picked up the Trader Joe's Nourish Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. And this was like $6. It was really, really inexpensive. And it's a glass bottle. The like this part, like where it screws in is kind of like crooked, but I'm sure it's fine. It's a pump, which is cool. And it is literally like a hyaluronic acid gel serum. So I'm going to start trying this out in the morning once I use up the um, Jeju Lotus brightening thing because, I don't know, I just love the idea of adding a light layer of moisture to my skin. I'm just all about that moisture life, you guys. It seems like it will sink in really nicely and hopefully not be too sticky. That's something that I've noticed with hyaluronic serums is sometimes they're sticky. So we'll see how that goes. And then I will put on my moisturizer and the one that I've been using and really loving is the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. And this is a like green um, moisturizer and it has a slight scent. It's just very pleasant, not like super strong or anything but the green color slightly helps with redness, like the appearance of redness, redness on your skin. And then the like main ingredients that are supposed to like help um, with, I guess, moisturizing and protecting your skin are matcha and niacinamide. And I just really enjoy this. Like there's nothing about it that I don't like. I really like it under makeup and I've also used it at night as like a nighttime moisture moisturizer and it's good for that too. So 
I love all Peach and Lily products, so it's not a surprise, but I have been using this every morning and it's great under makeup, so I would definitely give that a shot. And some mornings I use the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I just have like a little deluxe size. I'm almost done with it, but I don't know about this stuff. I feel like maybe it makes my mascara run and it's like a light yellow color so it kind of does brighten but when I saw this product I thought it would smell like bananas like is that just me or do you feel like if someone is something is named banana bright eye cream I just thought it would smell like bananas but it doesn't so <laughs> yeah I use this I think that it's nice to add like a really I don't know it's just a really nice glow under my eyes but I feel like that might be a little too um, rich or something for my mascara because it seems to break down more when I wear that so I don't 100% know if that is what is affecting my mascara transferring because my mascara still transfers even if I don't wear that eye cream but it has been like something that I've thought about maybe it's just too much under my eyes but it doesn't give me milia or anything so that's good so that is my morning routine um for me to be prepped for makeup and I honestly do all that really really quickly it seems like a lot um or maybe it doesn't to some people I don't know it's not like a 10 step a uh, morning routine but it is like about like four or five steps depending on serum and like the little spritz so yeah that is what I do in the morning to um, clean my skin from the night before and prep it for makeup I also love this sunscreen that I've been trying out it's by color science it's the sun forgettable total protection face shield SPF 50 um, PA++ and this is just a small size that came in that um, it was like the Derm Store Target set. So if you got that, you should have like this little size. And what I love about this is how thin it is. It's literally like a liquid in a, a, this container. And I don't know, there's just something about it that's very pleasant to apply and it doesn't make my skin feel sticky or like it doesn't smell like sunscreen. It's just really, really nice, especially under makeup. But even if you don't wear makeup, it gives your skin a glow. So I guess if you don't like a glow, you wouldn't necessarily like this, but I think that this is wonderful and I would definitely buy a full size of that. Whenever I shower, I wash my face in the shower with a more foaming cleanser, which is not typically what I go for, but my all-time favorite is the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. I have used this for I don't even know how long. It feels like a decade at this point, but it's just such a go-to that's a gentle cleanser, but that really cleans my skin. And I have so many like travel sizes of this that whenever I travel, I always pack it because I can use it on dry skin to like really break down makeup. I can use it wet to like foam up and really help to just like clean my pores. And I love this in the shower. And I also pretty much always whenever I shower and wash my face, I use the Foria Luna uh, cleansing device. I think this is the Luna Fofo, but like any of them have basically the same technology where it vibrates. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a silicone face cleanser, a uh, face cleansing device. And so I just put some of this on it and then put on the vibration and just like go to town on my face and down my neck. Um, I love like really washing my neck when I'm in the shower, my neck and decollete. I just feel like it's the perfect place to really deeply cleanse that area. And this is a wonderful combination. I love that. And like I said, Bliss has sent me some stuff lately and their Rose Gold Rescue Gentle Foaming Cleanser for Sensitive Skin is something that I also tried out a few times in the shower with this and it is nice because it foams up. I definitely don't want to say it beats out my First Aid Beauty because that I think will always be my favorite. But basically like this device in the shower is really nice because it like gets like nice into your like pores and stuff. I don't know. I just think it's really cool and this cleanser is a must have. I almost whacked myself in the face with it. So when I am ready to wash my face at night, my first step is always to remove my makeup and to remove my eye makeup, I like to use a separate 
eye makeup remover on a cotton pad. And right now I've been using the Garnier Micellar Water, just the pink cap. I really prefer the blue cap, which is a waterproof makeup remover with like an oil and then like the micellar water and you mix it together. But I ran out of it and I still have um, this big bottle. So I'm going to use this up first, but I do like the biphase um, eye makeup removers to really break down mascara and eyeliner especially. But this does the trick and it removes all my eye makeup or at least most of it. So it's ready um, for me to remove the rest of my face makeup. And for that, I'm using the Garnier um, Meissler Foaming Cleanser. And it's basically like the same thing, but in a gel cleanser format. And I honestly don't love this. I'm almost done with this and I will be the happiest person alive when it's gone. It, I feel like it slightly dries out my skin and it irritates my eyes if I get it in my eyes. So I'm very careful not to get it in my eyes. I got this on clearance from Target quite a few months ago and I would not recommend it or repurchase it, but just something to break down your makeup, like a oil cleanser, a balm cleanser. I love the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. The Polish Choice Resist Cleanser also does a great job at removing makeup. And that that like use of it is how I've gone through so many bottles of this because I just love removing my makeup with this stuff. Um, but I do like to do a separate cleanse to remove all my makeup and then I sometimes go back in with this as a second cleanse because I really like how hydrating yet cleansing it is but I've been trying out the Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser and this is so nice you guys. It is more of a foaming cleanser than others that I use regularly outside of the shower but I can put this on dry skin and like really rub it into my face and then add a little water and then I'll have it become lathery. Is that the right way to say it? It has a lather when you add water to it. So I just love this packaging. Really, really gentle yet effective at cleaning my skin. Like all Peach and Lily products, there's nothing bad that I can say about it. So I've been enjoying trying that out. Oh, another way sometimes that I remove my makeup is with face halos. This is a really great way to basically have like a makeup remover wipe, but in a more like eco-friendly way. It's just like a microfiber cloth, but they're in little circles. And so I find that to be so much easier to work with than like a giant microfiber cloth or even like a makeup eraser cloth. This is just easier to me. Like I can really get in there and it's not too much surface area that like this is taking up and it just removes the makeup like a magnet and then you can wash these. And I got a pack a while back and it came with like a little um, bag that you can put your face halos in and wash them. It's just really nice. So I like to take face halos especially when I'm traveling because usually I'm a little lazier when I'm on vacation in terms of my skincare and so I don't want to always go through all the steps of removing with like an oil or a balm and this is just so easy to travel with as well. So. That is a fun little product that I found useful over the years. Okay, so then sometimes I will do an exfoliator at night and I try not to over exfoliate my skin with physical exfoliants, but sometimes I do like to uh, scrub my skin down and help with any like dry flakiness that I might have. I really like the Be The Skin non stimulus Face Polisher, which is a K-Beauty product and it's like there's other products that are similar to this where it's a gel and when you rub it in it exfoliates the top layer of your skin and like balls up and it's really like gross and interesting and awesome and it leaves your skin baby soft. So this is really nice as a gentle gentle way to exfoliate. The Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel is a powder exfoliator. This is like heaven to me. Like the way it makes my skin feel after I remove it, it's just like, oh my god. But I don't want to overuse it because I do think that it's a bit drying for my skin. So I have probably another one of these little ones um, to go through, but a little goes such a long way with this stuff. Like the full size is huge and really expensive. I wish they would sell smaller sizes because it'll take me like 10 years to go through a full size. So I just really like to get these little ones and use it every so often. 
And then very, very rarely, I will use one of these um, like really abrasive facial scrubs. The Acure Brightening Facial Scrub is really great for a drugstore um, exfoliator and it has like nice like exfoliants. I like to use this in the shower mostly. And then the Lancer, the Method Polish is super, super strong. To me, this is like the strongest exfoliator I've ever used. And so I only really use it like around my nose area if I feel like my pores are really congested. And these are like tough stuff for me. Like I don't like to really scrub my skin very much. So I pull out the big guns if I need to, but I don't get a lot of use out of those um, on a regular basis. Then I go in with serums or oils and I switch it up so much and I'm trying to work through stuff right now so it's not anything like too exciting that I want to talk about, but I really like to have a face oil on hand at all times and right now I'm using the Olivier um, Squalane oil. I'm about like, I probably have like a fourth of this left. Um, I really like this. It's a nice lightweight oil and I like to add oil back into my skin. I don't know. I just like the feeling. I think my skin likes it. So this is good, but probably not something I would like run out and repurchase. And then once a week, I use the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. I use this on Sundays because the name Sunday Riley was just like, hmm, what day should I use this on? And then I was like, it's called Sunday Riley. I will use it on Sundays. So every Sunday night I apply this to my skin after I um, cleanse it and I just, I don't know, I think that it helps to keep my skin exfoliated at a deeper level. My skin loves lactic acid and really responds well to it to keep it more clear and more um, like smooth. So I really enjoy this. Is it a product that I swear by? I don't know. I've recently incorporated it into my routine since like last winter and I do really like it but I don't know if I would like be devastated without it. So I will go through this bottle and see how I feel after that. But I think once a week is plenty for me for this. Um, it says that you could use it like every day, but I don't know. I don't think my skin could tolerate <laughs> that much exfoliation um, at a chemical level. And then Obviously, I go in with a moisturizer. So the one that I've been using the most at night is the Saturday Skin Featherweight Daily Moisturizing Cream. And it's in one of these type of containers with the like press up, but mine is like kind of broken. Like it gives me a little bit, but not very much. Thankfully, this twists off and you can get into the product but like it's broken. So I hope that most of them work. This was sent to me by the company a while ago. So I'm not going to like complain or anything like that. I think maybe I just got like a bum packaging, but I hope that if you buy it, it doesn't have that happen to it. But this product is so nice. I love Saturday Skin Moisturizers. The uh, Waterfall Glacier Gel Cream is a super amazing lightweight moisturizer that I really like for the summertime. But this um, Featherweight one is just a little bit creamier and more moisturizing. So I think it's perfect for the winter time. And so I use this every night. I love it. It's not fragranced at all. It's just super like yummy feeling. It is one of my favorites. So I absolutely love that. And then um, the last Bliss product that they sent me was the Rose Gold Rescue Gentle Moisture Cream for Sensitive Skin. So I, I think this broke me out and I don't get pimples very often. So I really notice when it happens because I'm like, oh my God, like, what is that? And even if it's like one little one, I am automatically like 
what changed, what did I eat, what did I do to my skin, was it a product, was it this, was it that, is it hormones, like what could it be? And um, for a few nights I use this in a row and it does have shea butter in it and I think that shea butter is just too rich for my skin. So I'm gonna give this another shot before like fully 100% saying like this breaks me out but after using it for multiple days in a row I started to get pimples that I know were from congestion and I just know my skin so I could tell like it was because it's over moisturized not because of something else and this was the only thing that I changed in terms of moisture so that just makes me a little nervous but I'm gonna give it another shot um and let you guys know in an empties or like a product regrets video or something like that and then my subby Whitney so sweetly sent this to me and this was like oh my god like so overwhelming that Whitney you sent this and wanted me to have it like it was just crazy so um, she sent me the May Lindstrom Blue Cocoon, and I have wanted to try this for so many years. Like, I don't know when the first time, like, May Lindstrom came into my world and that I knew about her line, but the Blue Cocoon is always something that I've wanted to try. So, I would use this more so as a serum, so I should have mentioned it then, but it was under some of my other stuff, but it's called the Beauty Balm Concentrate, and um, it's basically like a pressed serum in my mind, and it does have blue tansy in it, so it is blue in color. I just use a little like spatula. It's very herbally fragrant, and it's not my favorite. Like every time that I use it, I'm just like, oh, like I don't, I don't like the scent. Um, but it's really cool because it like just melts down onto your skin and feels absolutely phenomenal. Like it really is a gorgeous feeling product on the skin, but I wish the scent was different and I don't know if it is doing anything for my skin. I've only used it three or four times to be honest because I have been a little nervous about it because Whitney said that it irritated and like broke out her skin. So I've been like tipping my toes or tip, tipping my toes, like being very cautious about using it. And especially after the shea butter incident with the Bliss product, I've been just like a little like cautious and had more trepidation about trying it so i'm gonna give that more of a chance but whitney i appreciate that so much and it was very very generous of you to send me that product i'm just like still overwhelmed about it so that is basically my full skincare routine there's other things that i do like masking i am going to use this tonight the peach and lily super reboot resurfacing mask so this is like an exfoliating mask and it's really cool it looks like blue jello like it's just really neat and you guys know i love she masks so tonight i'm either going to do the saturday skin cotton cloud mask i freaking love this thing like how magical does this look first of all and it's just such a beautiful mask and really like calming and hydrating to my skin or i'm going to use the peach and lily original glow sheet mask which is a tried and true one for me it's just very like simple and just hydrates my skin gives it that glow it's such a good one so masking is something I definitely do to help keep my skin like in check and make it look the best that it can. And that's something that I personally enjoy taking the time to do. Um, so it's something I do often and I think it does help how my skin looks overall, especially the sheet masks. I feel like having that constant like added moisture to my skin is helping me get the skin that I enjoy having, which is more hydrated and glowy. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my skincare routine. And my products switch out all the time. 
I'm trying to use up products as much as I can this year and not bring too much new in. Um, but I still want to give you guys like my feedback on everything. So if you guys like this, I might do skincare routines more often as my products change. Um, just to give you guys my feedback on the products as I'm using them. So let me know if you like that idea but I have been requested to do a skincare routine and I honestly like never do them because the routine is always changing. So I guess um, I feel like having more regular updates on my skincare routine might be beneficial, but let me know your thoughts on that. I would love to know if you would like to see more skincare routines um, throughout the year. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. And if you're into skincare, I bet like you know about all these products, but I hope it like taught you something, maybe was informative or just fun. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Uh, if you sheet mask while you're watching this video, let me know what mask you're using. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.